Here we are at Connerton, what was to be the new town center here in Pasco County. Who are you? Oh, you want me to start with that? Okay. Yeah. Hi, I'm Clay Colson, uh, Board Director and Water Issues Chair for Citizens for Sanity in Pasco County. Um, we're here at Connerton, uh, a proposed new town center from back in 2002, um, which our county approved over the objections of over 3,000 citizens and at a time in which we prevent, presented them um, loads and loads of evidence as to the fact that town centers didn't work. There were no successful ones. They kept using Reston, Virginia, and it's been an abysmal failure for what a town center is supposed to be. Um, and also concerns about the environmental sensitivity of this area. Uh, this area happens to be surrounded by four major well fields. Should I name them? Four major well fields, and those well fields um, draw from water that is recharged to them from this area. This area is extremely sensitive because it lacks the clay confining layer that keeps contaminants out of the aquifer. So anything that goes on the ground here, herbicides, pesticides, fertilizers, uh, oil, antifreeze that's spilt, eventually works its way down into the groundwater and into those well fields which supply the major portion of water for most of the Bay Area. Hillsboro, Tampa, St. Petersburg, and Pinellas County, and Pasco itself. Um, the important thing to understand is that citizens went well, way out of their way to be able to get the attention of their county commission, to tell them after great research that town centers were a failure and using examples and proving that the concept was wonderful, but in practice it didn't work. They also went to extremes to present evidence from the Southwest Florida Water Management District and the USGS that this land was extremely sensitive and known for its uh, porosity and its uh, ability to be uh, contaminated with great ease to uh, our, our to the aquifer and uh, therefore to the well fields to supply the area. Over the objections of citizens, after much ado and um, more than a year of um, fighting over it, the county commission approved the comprehensive plan land use changes that were necessary for this development to move forward. Had we had Florida Hometown Democracy, Amendment 4, we would have been able to put an end to this project and keep this sensitive land from having been developed, and putting the majority of this land in the hands of our water management district to help replenish the aquifer and supply the well fields that supply the region with its water. Mention, mention the uh, number of homes that were proposed and the number that exist and the fact that the development is now in default. This, this development, Connerton, was um, determined to be a, uh, a, a town center development, which meant that the people that would live here would work here and stay here. The pedestrian friendly community where the schools and all the businesses would be here. And it was going to have 8,000 homes, about 20,000 residents. Um, in 2005, the beginning of 2005, they began selling homes with the anticipated level of sales of 800 to 1,000 homes. Uh, each year. Here we are in 2010 and the housing market crash didn't come until 2009, 2008, we'll give it 2008, and in three years they sold a total of 225 homes in this development. The homes are overpriced, the um, town center is undeveloped. Uh, right here behind me you see is the welcome center for this project. The welcome center is closed. All the staff and people have been fired and the developer, Terrabrook, has defaulted on their bonds. This is a community development district where millions of dollars in um, AAA rated bonds were sold to provide the funds to be able to create the infrastructure for this development. Those bonds were supposed to be paid off by a added value tax to the homes in this area um, as the homes were sold and occupied. Because there are only 225 homes, Terrabrook was unable to continue to make the payments on these bonds and defaulted on those bonds. That affects all of us in a very negative way. And you work in there the, uh, the fact that the county still has this listed as a strength and hometown democracy is a threat. And if this is a strength... We're in a lot of trouble. Yeah. <laughs> we would all you, you want me to work that in there? Okay. Because they, it brings up no. hometown democracy again. Right. You know, that they have a lot of nerve considering a failed development a strength 
and something that would have given the people the I'll ability. get into that, and then they can do it, edit it the way they want. Uh, our county has recently put forward what they call a three-year strategic plan, and then in that strategic plan, they have listed uh, what they call strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And amazingly, they consider Connerton to be a strength, this empty, unsuccessful development, which um, is not, as they state, a victim of the economy, but a victim of itself and its uh, um, failed premise. And more importantly, they list both our organization, Citizens for Sanity, and Florida Hometown Democracy, Amendment 4, as threats to the county for its future. Uh, I don't know how that they can determine that, because had we had Florida Hometown Democracy, this development wouldn't be here. It would never have passed muster at the ballot. Uh, public opinion was overwhelming against it, and over 3,000 people worked to stop this development from moving forward. And the county commission ignored every piece of evidence that was presented to them, because all they could see was an expansion of tax base and an opportunity to um, bring in more tax revenues so that they could continue to pay for existing services to existing residents with the monies they took in from new development. Perfect. Good. Absolutely perfect.